Hey guys, it's Tasha Talk Truth. Well, I'm doing number Talk Truth all day, every day, so let's get into it. All right, guys, y'all see the picture? Cardi B, Bruno Mars, the smash hit song that they came out with. Ow. <laughs> all right, guys, so, um, <laughs> all right, now, this, as you see the picture, you know, this song is a smash. This song is going to be a very, very smash hit. And I'm just, you know, right now I'm just tripping off of Cardi B because here this lady is, you know, made out of poverty. You know, she had to strip for a living. Well, she chose to strip for a living to escape an abusive relationship. And she um, took to social media, you know, made a name for herself on social media. You know, her, her, you know, her funny comedy and stuff. And her skits and then she got notarized righty and loving hip-hop cast her as a member then she became like one of the big members and then she broke out to be the star <laughs> and then so um she decided that well i think before the end for the love, love of hip-hop she decided she wants to be a rapper um so she became this mega rapper and uh, broke many records that no other female have broke. And then so she wins a Grammy. And because of the backlash of that, she shuts down her Instagram account. But then two days, three days later, Valentine's Day, she put out a smash hit. Now... If people cannot see that something is mentally wrong with Cardi B, hell, I can. Okay, this is just funny to me. Now, not her mental state. I'm not making fun of her mental state because I truly believe something is really going on with Cardi B. But God damn, girl. Like, you just cannot live your best life. I, you know, and I truly believe that, you know, uh, Snoop Dogg and Lil Duval... When I, you know, when I heard that song, as far as celebrities, I kind of felt like that song was dedicated to Cardi B for some reason, for some strange reason. You know, I really did. And the fact that she couldn't even, because, you know, myself, you know, when I heard that song, I'm like, yeah, I'm living my yes, I'm living my best life. I don't care about these haters. Or, you know, but my thing is, Cardi B will not live her best life. She will not. You know, Cardi B cannot handle this fame. Okay, she cannot. She cannot handle the blessings that God has given her. She asked for them, he gave it to her. And she can't handle it. And the thing about it is, the way my God works, the universe of God... Um, you know, if you ask for something and he'll give it to you, he'll cash you and he'll give it to you. But if you can't handle your blessings, he will take those blessings from you. Uh, issue here that Cardi B has, Cardi B cannot handle her fame. I mean, if she knew she had this song coming out, she won a Grammy I would have said the hell with everybody. What? Are you serious? I'd have been like, shit. Okay, well, whatever. But watch this shit. Watch this fire ass song that me and Bruno got coming. Man. Oh my God, Cardi B, you're going to have to do much better, baby. You're going to have to, okay. People saying you don't write your own raps. We know you don't, okay? We know you don't. You know. You even stated it. You didn't say in those words, but you said it. So the thing about it is, this is my thing. To have, be, to have received the blessings that you have received, you know. And you know what? Let me take that back because I don't. you haven't received them. Now, they were given to you. But you have not received your blessings because 
I mean, you're not acting like you care. Like, Cardi B, like, do you really understand what is going on in your life right now? Like, really, like, do you? Now, I don't want to take away from her that she's not this good entertainer because she's a very good entertainer. You know, the fact that she has this really, really nice personality. And what I mean by personality, I truly believe that Cardi B is a, a, a real good loving person. I really do. I believe she's a good, caring, you know, ride or die chick. But my thing with her is, you know, you have done something that no other woman have done. Now, I'm not talking about as far as her um, breaking these records. No, I'm talking about the fact that she has became this phenomenal megastar in two years. No other woman has done that. That is just a pure blessing, okay? A pure blessing. And she do not know how to receive her blessings. She don't. There's no way in the world, after winning that Grammy, and I knew that I had a smash-ass hit like this that we were going to put out on Valentine's Day, and you think that I would have took to Instagram? And when, when, you, when you look at Cardi B, okay, and you see her in her job and her career and, and the things that she does, but then you go look at Cardi B when she's ranting and raving on Instagram, something is not right there. Something is not clicking there. You know, Cardi B has so a lot of mental issues that she needs help on. You know, what you could, I truly believe something has went on in Cardi B's childhood. I still put it in the childhood. That's my opinion, okay? Allegedly. I think something has went on in her childhood that she needs to confront because there's no way that this woman um, with these blessings and and when somebody says something about her, she goes to Instagram and she goes off. You know, fuck all that. Uh, I'm a ghetto. I'm a gangster. Uh, I'm a, a, a blood. You know, I'm hood. Fuck all that. Cardi B accomplished a lot in such a short period of time. Is that what it is? I, um, is it that you are still in disbelief that um, all this has happened so fast? Um... Because truly, I believe, like I said, I believe that Cardi B cannot handle fame. Or I believe that it is because Cardi B has guilt that she knows that she do not write her own raps. And she has been, she's been given all these awards. She's been given all this accomplishment for breaking records. You know, the fact that she even broke Beyonce record is like, really? You know... Um, I just truly believe it's either two things. Either she cannot handle fame or she is guilt because she does not write her own raps. Let me know what y'all think or what y'all believe in the comment section, okay? I'm just curious to know what other people think. So, it's just really, you know, it's shocking, you know, that... A person is delivered from God the dream that they have had. I don't want. I don't know if Cardi B has always. I don't believe she always wanted to be a rapper. I believe that Cardi B woke up one day and you know try to figure out how could she um, make it out of poverty. How could she get rich? Kind of like a get rich a get rich scheme. And I believe that she said, okay, I can rap. I can rap. Somebody write these lyrics. I'll deliver them. And this is what is going on here. So, the fact that this has happened for this lady. And she is still not satisfied. You know, it's kind of almost like this woman is selfish. She's been very, very selfish. Because there are plenty of female rappers 
that would love to be in her position. And the fact that they're still grinding, they're writing their own raps, they're grinding hard, they're making mix CDs, they're still out there grinding. That that thing that I mean, they probably have had you know this dream from being a little girl, you know, or a, a preteen. And, you know, the dream that they're having, you know, and they want to accomplish, you know, you know, I, I believe that they just want to get their foot in the door. Get their foot in the door. And the fact that, Cardi B, you are being so selfish. You are. You really are. You know, you are giving these awards. You are um, there, you know, the fact that they have made you. They didn't brought in heavy hitters, producers, ghostwriter, and you're given all these blessings, and you are you got your ass on social media. You hurry up, you run to that goddamn Instagram, and then you rant and rave, raging and. I mean, just going off because people say you didn't deserve your Grammy. Well, I believe that that's guilt. I believe you know you didn't deserve that damn Grammy. Grammy. You know, because this, this makes no sense. This makes no sense at all. It doesn't even compute. It doesn't even compute at all. Here you are breaking damn records. Two years where there were uh, female rappers that has been doing this basically all their life. Beyonce had been, even though she's not a rapper, but she had been on a grind since she was, what, in the first grade? Grinding. Have sold out arenas. I, I mean, was oh gosh, the phenomenal things that Beyonce have done, and you tell me you just get on the scene and you broke her record? Huh? Okay. You know the fact that colorist has a lot to do with this. I don't care what nobody say. Absolutely, absolutely, and. It's just really crazy because this woman will not sit down and shut her damn mouth. Shut up. You know, she can't. She can't because, you know, her career started on social media. This is where it took place at. So her career started on social media. She's addicted to social media. You know, and the thing about what's so crazy is she rarely responds to any of her fans. I have been on Cardi B Instagram, especially when she was before she had, I think before Bodak uh, Yellow got hot or, or I think right after that. But both before she had got before they had got hot and. She would have her fans in the comment section was begging her to just say hi to her, call my name. And she would just sit there and she would just look. She would just look. Sometimes she wouldn't even be talking. She'll just be looking. Then she'll be like, You like my mole on my face? And then she'll be going, mm, 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 twisting her head back and forth and poking out her lips and mm, mm, mm. When she got. Plenty of people that is saying things to, I love you, Cardi. Cardi this, Cardi that, and would not respond. I've seen people beg her to respond and just say hi to them. It was even, um, I think it was a lady or a girl, lady, female, I know it was a female, that even asked her, why won't you say my name? Well, no, why won't you say hi to me? And she just kept on scrolling, you know. And, you know, when I think about that, 
you you know you 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 are ungrateful you are an ungrateful ass woman you really are you are here you are giving these blessings and you have um all these um mega stars that's collabing with you and putting you on their record making you even hotter you you know um Atlanta record this is what they wanted they needed a female that they to try to put Nikki out of her career in her career but Nikki really showed that she ain't going nowhere but this ain't even about Nikki I just wanted to put that in here because that was Atlanta records that was day motive and the fact that here on Valentine's Day and you know you had this record coming and you are on Instagram looking a damn fool like a mad woman. You know, you go from when you look at the Grammys and how happy and how excited she was. Then you go look at Instagram, her whole, you know, demeanor changes. She's looking all ugly and um, and the reason why I say ugly, she's not an ugly woman. I'm just saying, you know, just what she was doing was ugly. You know, them frowns in her face. You know, any people that argue and they got them frowns, you know, just to just change from this lovely, beautiful face to these frowns, it's ugly, okay? And so she went from that and then deleting her Instagram for a couple of days. And then now you drop a smash hit. Now, the fact that she had to drop this hit, she had to go open back up that damn Instagram. But you, you knew y'all had, you had this smash ass hit. With Bruno Mars, and you're doing shit that you did, and you ran your raging, raging? I mean, that shit don't even compute. So, I'm just thinking, you know, either this woman cannot handle fame. She's feeling guilty because she do not write any of her raps. And people were calling it out. And, you know, that guilt came out. Or she's just an ungrateful, selfish woman. Or all the above. Let me know in the comment section. Because this is really interesting, you know, to see this how this woman moves. You know, you're not a ghetto. You're not a gangster anymore. You're not a blood. Well, you call yourself a blood, but... I mean, you still living this life as you this gang member. You got a daughter. She has a daughter that's going to look up to her. So what are you going to show your daughter? Okay, because your daughter is going to be watching. Um, are you going to um, hide your daughter from your videos when you get um, when she gets up in age? They want to know what their mommy, what her mommy does. You know, uh, Cardi B should need, need to um, start making some serious life changing decisions. You know, sometimes it's hard to uh, leave old habits alone. It's hard. Um, but sometimes we just have to so we can grow for the better. You know, you would think. You know, this lady was in Paris, and I watched, you know, um, on Vogue, the make, kind of like the documentary of her um, costumes that she wore, and the fact that she's over in Paris, rubbing elbows with these top designers, and then when I go look at her ass on Instagram, going the fuck off. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> Two totally different people. Mental. Cardi B needs to go get some help. She needs to go find out whatever has happened to her. And if, I'm not a psychologist, but most things, people that act like this, it's in, the, in their childhood. So I believe some, Cardi B needs to go confront her demons in her childhood that happened in her childhood, you know, um, because this is not stable. You know, she cannot have a function, 
stable life. We see that her life is not stable at all. You know, and people, you know, say, well, Offset, he's doing his cheating on her and all this. And that. Yes, that added to it. Absolutely. That added to it big time. But I believe it was already there. OK, before Offset came along, it was already there. And it could be that she had some tragic moments when she was being a stripper. She could have had some tragic moments that no, that she hasn't talked about that she probably need to talk about. But it's something there. It's something there, something going on, and she needs to find out what the issue is, and she needs to solve it and get over, you know, try to overcome um, her depression. Um, there's something serious wrong. You know, I hope Offset really sees that and knows that his wife has a mental issue, um, and I hope he stays with her and do not cheat. And cause this woman to have a, a breakdown. And she will have to be, you know, um, hospitalized like Kanye West. I hope, you know, this woman don't, you know, crack like that. This woman is 25, years, 26 years old. And, <laughs> I mean, in situations that plenty of people would love to be in. And she's been selfish and can't even handle it. So, you know... You need to call to start tapping into some other sources like uh, movies, entertainment, because she's a very good entertainer. She got a very nice stage presence. She can do that well. You know, she was a stripper, so she can do that well, you know. Um, but as far as um, as far as this music shit. It's not going to be there long because she's going to fuck around and crack so badly. Nobody is going to Atlanta Records going to let her ass go and nobody's going to want to work with Cardi B. You know, she still is in the game big time. But she needs to just stop uh, responding. Stop responding. Live your best life. If you are fucked up and stressed out, don't let the whole world see these, uh, this hot and cold side. We see, you know, because you know, we all see the mental state. And then you're reading and watching comments and you're looking at videos that people make about you about on YouTube. That's just going to add to it. There's no damn way in the world I don't want a Grammy. And I just sit there and wait, even if I was Saudi. Even if I was a oh, shit, <laughs> even if I was shitty, shit, well, no, they wouldn't have saw it. Hell no. I'd have came out swinging hard. I'd have been like, ow, nanny, 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 you know, some shit like that. But no, I mean, she was hot. That's crazy. And then only to put out this smash hit. <laughs> it's not funny. You know, I'm not laughing at her mental state because I know something is wrong with this lady. It's not funny. It really ain't. And I know I'm the only one laughing, but I'm just saying, like, God, Lee, girl, get it together. Because you are worrying about the wrong shit right now, Cardi B. Get it together, honey. Get it together. You know, Obama said change is good. And change is good. I listened to that and trust me. With the help of the Lord, because I got to give it to him. I changed a whole lot in my life for the better. Change is good. Change is really good. Cardi B, you need to go and start changing up some things. You know, Tasha K, she had did a video and, you know, I had the same views of her and she had spoke and said the same thing. She really did. You know, Cardi B need to change her people, places and things. She just do. She has to. If she wants to um, keep her sanity, if, you know, um, because this is this is just crazy. You know, usually people that make it, they get out the hood 
and they go and live a life that they dream of living. And the reason why I don't understand why Cardi B still thinks that she has to, um, you know, live the way that she lived. So what's the point? What was the point of you um, working hard in the studio for three months and not um, having any sleep and not sleeping in your bed and niggas couldn't sleep? You know, she loves to use that word loosely. I mean, what was the point of that? What's the point? If you're not going to enjoy what you have, if you're not going to enjoy your success and your accomplishments, what is the point? What is the reason? What was the reason? Cardi B, what was the reason? <laughs> your words. What was the reason? That you have done all of this hard work, you know, that you claim you've done. I mean, really, I mean, not writing your own raps. But you know what? Um, I do know when she says her hard work, I believe that is um, having to recite the ghostwriter rap raps. But you know what? I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. Because this is not what this video is about. This video is about this new smash hit song. If no one has heard it, um, it's a really good song. I'm so sorry. I do not remember. I think it's Please Me. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Please Me, Baby. Something like that. But the fucking song is a good song. I'm not <laughs> It's a good song. Yes, it's a very good song. And I believe this song will shoot to number one. I believe she'll there have a number she'll have another one number one up on her belt. Cause this is a good song. So the fact that she even was letting people been bothered by people is like crazy. Alright guys, well, I'm gonna end this video and this is just my opinion and thought on Cardi B and Bruno Mars song. It's a good good song. But don't forget guys to like, share, and leave a comment. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, but leave a comment about what do you think about Cardi B? Is Cardi B regretting, guilty of not writing her own raps? Or does she have a mental issue? Or is she just selfish or all the above? The reason why she cannot enjoy what she has I, I can't say what she always wanted because I truly do not believe that Cardi B as a little girl, as a teen, as a, you know, a teenage, a, a preteen and in her early teenage years, I do not believe that Cardi B was actually um, rapping. I mean, I, I can't say writing her raps, um, but fantasizing about being, I mean, I don't even know what to call it. I don't think that she wanted to be a rapper I, um, at that age. I believe that in her stripping, I believe that in her stripper days, I believe that someone and herself agreed that she had the wits to be a rapper because she has said this. She has said this. And voila, she became this mega rapper. You know, in two years. So, well, yeah, in two years. So, um, yeah. I don't think this was a passion that Cardi B had. I believe this was a money move. And she made a good money move. Period. This is, she's not a rapper. She's, she's a money mover. <laughs> so she didn't write her raps. This was a money move. This was a money move for Cardi B. So... Yeah, so all right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and um, don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys, talk to you later.